Okay, so the wall is here, my standard wall. It's grouped, and so I have each of the pieces in the group. And what I do is I grab this group. Uh, I just need to get rid of that. I grab this group, and then I do a duplicate of that just to make sure that I have it. So I go to duplicate. So my duplicate is right on. My duplicate is right here beside the original one. And then I will do a combine on this, so it's just one model. And then it looks weird. And the reason for this is that it's right now it's smoothed. And I don't want that, I just press 1. There we go. At a later stage, I'll just separate this so I get the windows on its own, and then I can smooth it. So I grab this, and then I just start building the house. Control D. Select my rotate tool, and then hold the J key to snap the rotation. There you go. Top view. And just move it over here, I think. Oh, uh, actually, it should be <coughs> it should be over here. There you go. Control D. Move it over here. Rotate tool. Hold the J key. Rotate. Move. Put it there, control D, move E to rotate, hold the J key to snap, and move it down here. Yeah. I just grab my group here and I'll go just hide it, control H, so I have this, then I'll create a cube, also in the top view, create polygons cube, move it to one of the assembly areas here, then just scale it down until it fits. This <coughs> is good. And go perspective and make sure it has the right height. There. Go back to top view and then use control D. And then just move them around so that I get the corner. Control D. Move it over here. No. Control D. Move it up here. And there. Good. Then I need to create the roof thing. Top view. Create new coup. Cube there. Scale it up so it's slightly bigger. And centered. There you go. Perspective. Scale it flat, move it up, move it up slightly more, like that, okay, and then go face, grab that, <coughs> scale it out a little bit, edit mesh, insert edge loop tool, there, scale <coughs> that in slightly, so, yes, I just did the whole thing, okay, and then for the roof, I'll duplicate that, control D, Move that up, scale it out, grab the top face, scale it in, move it up, like so. Then for these four faces here I want the, the roof tiling, so I'll assign a new material to that. Go to the texture panel, file texture, grab the roof tiles, and they look really weird. Grab each of them at a time, go create UVs, planner mapping, options, and set it to best plane, and then just go apply for each of them. There we go. And there, they are all turning sideways, so I'll fix that. Just select them again, open my UV texture editor, and then I can just turn them by using these buttons here. There you go. And then what we need to do is uh, find that material. It should be over <coughs> here somewhere. And then go to the Place 2D Texture Node for the slate. And then just repeat that maybe three times and two times. Something like that. Yep, good. Let's just look at the reference. Okay, it goes out a little longer there. So perhaps I should make this smaller. So I'll just make this slightly smaller. Like so, and just 
grab the edge here move it up so actually I don't need the bottom part here so I'll just grab the face there hold the shift key and go larger than so grow selection and then delete and then move this down a little bit so that it sits right there on the top and then for the corners here it has these lines I'll make those as a cube great polygon primitives cube move it up here I'll hold the C key to snap middle mouse button drag there you go and I just scale it down and then go to the rotate tool rotate this until it fits something like that scale it up something like that and hold the V key left mouse button set it to object so I can drag it along the object line there you go and then just scale it down a little bit perhaps move this so that it fits a little better Ooh, it's not fitting exactly it's rotated some more just V and then hold the C key to snap it out then I need to rotate it this can be a little tricky to fit but it's close I think it works almost there that's close tricky move it out there and scale it in. It's like there. Good. And then go to the top view. Group that to itself. Control D to duplicate. Go to the rotate tool, hold the J key, and then rotate that around. Okay. Control D, hold the J key. There, yeah, control D, hold the J key. <coughs> and there we go. This needs to be placed. Move it. It's really weird to hear yourself talking like that. Double! So, there we go. Oh, almost. There we go. And then this one. There we go. <coughs> and then I'll have a duplicate of this. So D, move that up, scale that down to fit the top part up here. Make it slightly taller. Something like that. Yep, so that looks right. So we end up with this, and then what I can do is I can grab these walls, shift selecting them, then go mesh separate, and then I can grab all of the window frames, and press 3 to smooth them. So then it looks like this. There you go. Recording.